this viral mystery box of miniature foods, Crapkit is back with a vengeance with Series 2. Miniverse Make It Mini Foods now has not only Cafe Series 2, but also Diner Series 2. And it has things like pizza, banana split sundaes, and even miniature fruit tarts. For those of you who are not aware of this series, they make the most adorable miniature food craft kits that you have ever seen. And in each mystery box, you get a set of different kinds of ingredients that look absolutely adorable. And based on that, we're going to be turning them into actual tiny foods. And their main recipe in here is using resin. UV resin is a liquid when hardened under sunlight or under a UV light becomes a hard kind of plasticky type of material. And as you can see here on my desk, I do have eight different boxes. So we're hoping to get at least three different projects for today. And the box is absolutely adorable because it does show that we can make pizza. So I'm really excited, especially for the tiny ingredients. I mean, look, it has mushroom and tiny mushroom and tiny pepper. Let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite toppings on pizza. And also let me know which one of these projects do you hope we're going to be getting today? And also let me know at the end of the video if we did get the project you were hoping you would see. And if you want to watch previous episodes, I will link them in description box below. But also if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there, which will make you a grain of salt in the salt shaker family. This is a perfect time to remind you grains and YouTube that my videos are product reviews for people with purchasing power, not for little ones. My content never was and never will be for kids. Now don't be fooled because each one of these is actually $25. They're so hard to find and I only found them in one place which is called Showcase, not sponsored, not affiliated. But again, each one of these was $25. I do have eight, so it's about $200 plus the shipping was about $15. So it's $215. But I have to say these things are really fun, but they're not $25 fun. Wait for them to come down to normal price, which is about 10 to $12, because I wanted to be like one of the first to check it out so you don't waste your money, but I do. I'm here for you, and you're here for me. It's like we're sympathetic. Now, since these are mystery boxes, we don't know if we're going to be getting any doubles or triples, but again, we're hoping for at least three projects for today, so let's go ahead and move them to the side. We're gonna keep opening until we have three individual, unique projects. There we go. Why are you upside down? All of them were not upside down. How did you get upside down? Now the biggest difference between this one and the cafe version is that these balls are bigger. Wait a damn minute. I didn't think I would say that. I don't need you to take me out of context, but just give me a second. You didn't see it, but I did get up and I went somewhere. But look at that. Here you can see the different series and the size of the mystery ball. You can see that the cafe series two is smaller than the diner series two. Voila. So technically the projects are a little bigger on this one. That's why they're technically a little bit more expensive. But again, don't get them at $25. So let's see what we get. I have no idea why they have such an obsession with making these little tabs so tight. Look, it's tiny. Look at that. How am I supposed to get the other side here? How? Oh my goodness. Let's try the knife. I'm going to get you like a so, and it's so tiny. Did that work? Yes, kind of. It's right there, let's do it. Very nice. And look at that, we have the tiny graphics of ramen, we have the banana split, a little cake, a pie. Is that a birthday cake? That's cute. Come on, there we go. Also very nice. Will we get a nice pop? Okay, that's a nice deep pop. And we have one, two, this is the stand. More of the stand. Three, four, five, six surprises. And a little doily. I'm pretty sure this is called a doily. Let's see a real doily side by side. It's basically old school crochet, I guess, that you put your stuff on so it doesn't burn the table. It's the thing, like, it's just cute, okay? And this stand is supposed to go into each other like a saw. So you can display your actual figurines that are finished. And just so you know, they're supposed to also fit inside this thing. Did they fix it? Did they, did they, did they fix you? Oh my God, they did not fix you. <laughs> Well, it's supposed to fit. It's supposed to go and then it's all good, but it doesn't go for some reason. And here we have the instruction guide, which we don't care about because I know what I'm doing. And here we have all the collector guide of the different recipes we can get. Oh my goodness. Look at, look at all, that's, that's a lot of stuff. It does say there are 24 recipes to collect, so I'm guessing some of them are mysteries, on top of mysteries. Oh my god, you can get everything from a little tiramisu, the tiny tarts, and then there's something over here, we don't know what it could be, but it's kind of related to the tiramisu, but I'm guessing a different set of ingredients. We haven't gotten any of those yet, so let's hope we do. 
<gasps> My goodness, it's an actual birthday cake. Strawberry shortcake. We have the pineapple upside down. Again, look at these. These are grayed out, so we don't know. What? Is that an Oreo cake? <gasps> so cute. We also have raviolis and ramen. And that's the pizza. Look at that. There's three different kinds of pizzas. And of course, we do have the banana split. So it's going to be really interesting to see what we actually get. So I don't know which one to start with. So let's start with this pink one. And it says made fresh. So let's tear you open. And you are. Oh, looks like we're starting with a pie. And it definitely looks very chocolatey. Oh, it does say choco. <laughs> I'm smart. I made the deduction that it was chocolate. But it says it's chocolate. <laughs> Next thing here, it says have a sunny day. And you are. Oh, whipped cream. Why, why, why is so cute? <laughs> why? That's adorable. You have tiny whipped cream. And in the back it says 100% good stuff. And what does it say at the bottom? Fluffiness and total fun at 100%. Super cute. Everything is super cute at this point. This next bag says keep cool. So what do you be? You be? Oh, hello. What is? <gasps> it's a joke. We see here it says pie filling, and it definitely, definitely is the Oreo type look. Hopefully they don't mislead us. This is what the back looks like. Let's remove this and see if there's anything in the back. No, we do have this tiny jar. And here, oh, okay, so we have a tiny dish. It's a nice minty blue color. Very, very cute. And it is plastic. And this must be the cookies, right? Yes! So tiny! It says sun-baked sweets and we have halves of tiny cream cookies. Now, I already noticed that the halves don't seem to have the white part of the cookie. My guess is maybe because they're going to be in the resin, so it's going to be hard to see. Really, really cute. Yeah, they make a nice sound. I like that. And last but not least, we have the utensil. And it is... This, oh my goodness, there we have the clampies right here. So you don't have to use your fingers. You could just kind of use these. And we have a cake. Oh my goodness. Slicey thing. I don't know what this is called, but if you know what it is, let me know in the comment section below. And then if you like to keep your displays, you can also just put this thing right on top of the dome. Like so. And the most important thing is going to be to find our recipe guide. So here we have it. Let's go ahead and pull it out. So according to the instructions, we're going to put our pie crust inside the dish. We're going to scoop out the cream, add the cookies, and then the whipped cream, and then harden it. Now, I disagree. I find myself disagreeing a lot with a lot of these instructions. Plus, we're not going to be using sunlight because Canada... The sun really does hide quite a bit here. So we're going to be using a UV light, this thing over here, because it does harden things within a minute instead of 10 minutes. Yes. So what we're going to do is put the cream in two different layers so that the cookies don't sink all the way down, which happened to another project we did, as you can see here. Oh no, don't sink, please, don't sink. No, 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 no. Okay, you know what? Let's just lose that one. Let's just cover it. Let's just cover that one. Nobody saw anything. So let's take out our ingredients. We have, oh my goodness, come on, oh. I am free. Our pie crust. And it is really soft, look at that. I didn't expect it to be this soft. Now, I can't remember what the previous series was, but I don't know if it was this malleable, but okay. And then we have our itty bitty cookies, which I'm very excited to see what they look like. Let's get you open. Yes. Oh my goodness. So tiny. Look at that. Just so you have an idea, here's my fingernail. And here's the cookie. Let's get the cookie on my fingernail. The cookie on the fingernail. Very small. Very, very, very small. And they also have a kind of rubbery plastic texture. So they're not a hard plastic. They do have a bit of softness to them. Let's put you back in. And the whipped cream, if I'm not mistaken, the bottle should be opened. There you go. We should get a little whips in here. Oh, yeah. three. Oh, there they are. There you go. They were all stuck at the bottom. So we have six tiny whips in here. Let's put you in for now. And now we need to open up our cream. So let's open this. They've started taping the outside. So I'm wondering if anyone actually dropped it or if some kind of transportation made it drop. But we do have a little tape. Tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> and I'm guessing we're going to have to use our knife. No, look at that. It even has little bits of cookies. What? What? That's cool. That's 
that's really cool. I didn't think they would pull that off. All right, so first things first is we're going to put our pie in its tiny dish like so. And I have to say, it is a little on the wonky side, so let me try and just push it like this. And now the instructions say to scoop this cream like a so. Wow, look at that. Why am I so impressed with the tiny little dots of a cookie in there? Don't, do not fall on me, do not fall. There you go. And let's scoop the rest in here for you. Oh, this is, this is a long process. <laughs> this is gonna be a long process. Come on, yes. This is, this is a really slow process. Let me just, let me just tilt it. <laughs> now we're talking, yes, that's what I'm saying. Now we don't wanna put the whole thing again because we do want our cookies to kind of float to the top. I'm gonna put this much. Let's get you brains closer. Voila. Make sure it gets all the little sides. Very nice. This is exciting. And now we're going to harden it. So I'm going to put this right on top, like a so. And then we turn the light on and leave it there for about a minute. Voila. A few moments later. All right, so now that we have this fully hardened, let's double check. Look how glossy this is. Let's touch. Yes, look at that. And we still have the tiny cookie crumbles all over. And you can see that it is nicely hardened. Now for this next part, we're going to go ahead and pour the rest of the cream on top. That way the cookies, again, don't fall all the way down. So we're doing it in two parts. There you go. Voila. That way we know that what we're doing is the right method. Again, I'm the one doing the instructions because I feel like they need to work on theirs. This might even be too much. And according to the image, we're putting cookie, cream, cookie, cream, cookie, cream all the way around. So that should be pretty fun and pretty relaxing, actually. All right, so let's make sure that the cream takes up the entire space. We're going to spread it like a so, like a so. Why is it that all the cream and cookie part is on the left? Not sure, but this is, this is very satisfying to watch. Oh my gosh. I don't know why this is very satisfying. There we go. Do not drop this. You do not want to drop. If you do drop resin, don't use water to clean it up. You're going to need something like rubbing alcohol to clean that. Otherwise it gets stickier. Let's put our little tiny creams. Nice. And our tiny cookies. Voila. I'm gonna try to make it so that all the cookies are standing up like this. So it's easier to pick up with my little pinchy things like this. So we're gonna, let me organize this. Hang on. Oh my goodness. Need to put them all in a line. Voila. I didn't know I was gonna organize tiny cookies today. Voila, and voila, and voila. Cute. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the cookie, and from what I see, they're facing the inside like this. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna take a cream, put you like a so, and a cookie, put you like a so. See, even with so little of the cream, the cookie is kind of, no, don't fall! What are you doing? Stay still, stay standing, please, please. Don't. Okay, we're gonna have to work faster than I expected. We do not want the cookies to fall. Come on, please don't, don't fall. Oh no, please, please, please. I don't have enough cream to keep you all. We're gonna have to move quickly. We're gonna have to move much more quickly. Don't panic. So far, so good. Come on, face the inside. I don't think we're gonna be able to put all of them. This is a good amount. There you go. That is a pretty good amount. Now we just need to make sure that they, no, no, no. Don't you go wonky on me. Don't you go wonky. Let's put a cream right in the middle. Okay. Let's freeze that in time. I got you. Don't go wonky. Don't go wonky. A few minutes later. All right, so let's see what this looks like. It's probably gone wonky, hasn't it? You know what? Not too bad. This one definitely wanted to just lay down. I was like, I'm too tired. I'm just going to take a quick nap. I'm just going to fall asleep. And yeah, you could tell that this one went a little bit on the side and all the rest are very nicely put in there. So not too bad at all. This is really cute. Look, it's it's definitely hardened so we don't have to worry about it moving. So it's all good. This is a really cute project, especially with the little cookie crumbles a little bit of everywhere. It just adds that detail that I love about this product. I'm not sponsored, but I'm in love with this product. I nap it. And here's what our cute little Oreo pie cake or filling looks like. It is absolutely adorable but I definitely think having two layers is going to be way more helpful for you to actually keep your little cookies by the way I know that many of you grains are exactly like me and after a long day of having to make different decisions sometimes at the end you just don't want to think so it's like hey do I want steak and fries or do I want to make a hamburger or am I just gonna snack on little carrots and be a get it over with <laughs> which is why I'm really happy to announce today's sponsor HelloFresh HelloFresh is a great way to remove decisions at the end of your day of what to make in addition to absolutely delicious recipes 
everything comes pre-portioned and pre-packaged for your convenience. This cuts down on food waste, while step-by-step -step instructions make cooking an absolute breeze. Let's make something. Smoke-kissed bone-in pork chops. You grains have no idea how absolutely phenomenal this smells. Everything from the freshness of the little salsa, that's a little fruit, and the mint, to the heartiness of the potatoes and the kind of garlicky scent and flavor to the asparagus. I am so excited for this. And here's the salsa with the meat. Oh, mama. Mm, 10 on 10, my favorite recipe by far. That is good. I do have the asparagus, and this recipe does have aioli, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Mm-hmm. HelloFresh has you covered depending on what kind of lifestyle you want to follow. Everything from protein smart lunches, vegan dinners, all the way to pescatarian. They really do make it easy to reach your food goals with absolutely flavorful recipes and seasonal ingredients. Speaking of the ingredients, they make sure that the food arrives from the farm straight to your door within seven days so you know you're getting good quality local ingredients. They even have a fast and fresh line of recipes that can have you ready in 15 minutes. And with 40 recipes to choose from every week, what are you waiting for? Check the link down below and pinned comment or go to hellofresh.com and use the code nerdycrafter50 at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. That's hellofresh.com. Use the code nerdycrafter50 at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. Thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Next one. All right, and what do we have? We have one Two, we have the instructions and the papers and things. Actually, I probably shouldn't have thrown that. It's okay, we have the other guide. We have the stand. Three, four, five, six. Oh no, we have another doily here. This is making me a little worried because usually you can tell if you have a repeat project by the little tapestry that comes with it. Please no doubles, please no doubles. Okay, let's go ahead and open this one and see what we get. And you are. Okay, that's different. We have cherries. Very cute. Oh my goodness. Little baby cherries. 100% happy. If it's another pie, we're going to speed run through it and we're going to try and find something else. Next we have. Okay, that's different. So we have a display that's going to go on top of our display. This is going to be displayception. And this one says, Happy Sun Farms. That's cute. We haven't seen this one. What do you be? What is this? What is that? Pineapple. What? And they're translucent. That's cute. It's making me want pineapples. I love pineapples. We have translucent -y pineapples. So far, I have no idea what this is. And here, what is, what is, is that a cake? A sponge cake. That is heavy. That is really heavy. Like, I couldn't, don't do that. I could knock myself out with <laughs> Holy carp, that is heavy. We even have little crevice details. What the shrimp? Next, I still don't see what's gonna put, put all, what is that? It's like a squirt bottle. Golden syrup. What is that? I have no idea what this project is. All right, let's remove this. And the writing is really small. Here I know it says vitamin sweet and here total joy, but I really can't tell or make out what this is. Really, really tiny. I wish they could have made this a little bigger. They do have the space. I mean, they have all of this space here in the back too. And here we should be getting the utensil, which is, all right, we have the clampy and a spoon. This is interesting. I still don't know what we're making. Clearly it's a cake, but the question is what kind of cake? So it seems like this could, no, I don't think so. Cause this looks, this looks like chocolate chips, so it's not this one. I don't think it's this one either because it looks like we're getting whipped cream of some sort. This one doesn't have cherries. I think this is it. Pineapple upside down cake. Really? Kitty editor, can you do a quick Google search for us, please? I appreciate you. When you write pineapple upside down cake, is cherries a normal part of it? Because I've never seen that before, so just educate us. Okay, that's interesting. So let's pull this recipe out and see what we need to do. the instructions it seems extremely straightforward basically we're just putting the I guess glaze on top and then we're adding the pineapple and cherries and look at that it's even making it so that the spoon is kind of hovering at the front but they don't show how to do this so you know what because we like to be a little extra I'm going to make sure to show you how to make your spoon floaties and we're basically adding the pineapple and the cherries right in the middle and then there's a what's it called pineapple pineapple on top of everything 
So let's take out our cake. And this is quite the heavy thing. Oh my goodness. That is definitely like a like a hockey puck is the best way I can describe it. I am Canadian. Here's what our cake looks like. And again, you can see the tiny details and the shading of the cake itself, which is pretty neat. I just wish they didn't make the base the same color as the cake. I would love to see different colors like blues and pinks and purples, just to kind of make it a little bit more interesting visually. And our pineapples. Look at them, so pretty, so translucent -y and pretty. And from what it looks like, if we're going to have pineapples in either direction, so we're gonna be doing something like this, the middle pineapple will, what the heck? We can't even fit all the pineapples. We have to put one in the middle like this. Wait, that's not how it looked like, did it? No, it looked like we had five. So there should be space for another one. Oh, oh, there we go. They're gonna stick out a little bit, that's fine. And the cute little cherries. Let's get you opened up and poured out. That's a lot of cherries. That is definitely a lot of cherries. I am keeping a lot of these extra ingredients for future builds of custom mini verses. Very cute. Wait, they're supposed to fit in the pineapple. So we're supposed to put the cherry in the pineapple. Hang on, like a so. Ooh, yeah, definitely works. So I'm gonna make sure that I put all my little cherries right on top like a so, so they're ready. Do not fall through. You know what I noticed? Everything in this project is like yellow. <laughs> Everything is like yellowish, brownish. We have our tiny golden syrup, which for sure is also goldeny, goldeny, goldeny yellow, brownish. Nuts. It's kind of like a brown, yellowish project at this point. Look at this squeeze bottle. Oh my god. Open. Do you not open? Does this not squeeze? No, it's not a squeeze bottle. What? No, it's not. Oh man, it's not. It's, it's not a squeeze bottle. You can see here, this is just the cap. <laughs> Doesn't open. Okay. So the instructions basically say, let it drizzle and then put your toppings on top. Okie dokie. So we're gonna go ahead and put a, ooh, look at that bubble. A generous amount. Look at that bubble, that is, that is really pretty. Is that a bubble inside a bubble? Okay, let's get that going. Very nice. It's like caramel and honey. Oh my goodness. There you go. And we're gonna go ahead and spread it to the outer edge of the soikle. Hang on, we need to hold you. We need to hold you. Voila, like a so. Kind of want to freeze it in time and then add the pineapples in the same way that we did for the pie. But I don't know if that's gonna help. Look at that, that is nice. That's like maple syrup. It's Canadian brain. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Let's get the pineapple here. That does not, that does not show. That legitimately does not show. Another pineapple here. Everything is so beige. Oh my God. We're getting somewhere. I'm gonna put you here like a so and like a so. So far so good. So far so good. That's very beige. And then we're gonna take a little bit of the middle and we're gonna put it on the edge of that one. Cause you need to, this one needs to stick. So I'm gonna put it like this. I think that's what it's supposed to be. And I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my UV light because I still want the drizzle to be there. As you can see, it shows that there's drizzle here, but on that side, we don't have a drizzle. So let's see what we could do. I think I'm just gonna drag a little bit of the resin and hope that the resin actually follows. Come on, can you do it? Like this. Resin generally does not want to fall. So you have to encourage it to go over the top. Voila. That's cute. Come on, come on. There, I think that's pretty cute. There, I like that a lot. So let's go ahead and freeze this in time. A few minutes later. Okay, so here it is hardened up. We need to move it towards the back a little bit. You know what, let's add a doily, like a saw. Move the cake a little towards the back. There we go, that's looking cute. And I do have some of the syrup that fell on the doily over here. So we're gonna take some of that and put it on the spoon. You know what, let's go ahead and put the spoon in here. Oh yes, that looks good. And we're gonna put a cherry. Voila. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't. Oh my goodness, I do not want to touch you with my hand. It's still staying there. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you. Here we go. Oh no! <gasps> it fell on my desk. Oh no. Oh my god, I need to clean that now. All right, let's try that again. You go here. I'm trying to look from the computer screen. There you go. That's looking better. Did I say computer screen? The camera screen. <laughs> And right here, what we're going to do is I have the UV light right here and we're gonna shine it like a so, right on top. And just hold the spoon in place and give it a very stable environment, which is really hard when you got some sausage, oh my gosh, don't move, some sausage fingers and you're hoping that it's going to keep that position. So we're gonna have to hold it like this for about a minute. Time goes by so slowly, time goes by so slowly. 
And drum roll please, ta-da! Here we have our floating spoon. Look at that. Because we had some at the bottom and some on top of the spoon, it has something to adhere to. But our cake is not glued to the bottom. If you do want to glue your cake, you can definitely do that. But it does look pretty cute. Still very sepia for me. <laughs> so not my favorite. Let's see what's next. something savory this time. I mean, we have ramen, we have pizza, we have raviolis. What else? That's basically it. <laughs> Mostly sweets. Let's hear that pop. Very nice. We have one. Oh, okay. One, two. And then, oh, this is gonna be something new. This is the first time we see this mat. All these instructions. We don't care. We have the rest of the display that you can decorate and put your own figurine on. So we have two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's see what we get. This one's really bulky. So it says, have a sunny day and you are. Oh, what? Is that ice cream? No way. So we have Neapolitan ice cream, which is very North American. I don't know if it's anywhere else in the world. Let me know in the comment section below, but it's basically chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla ice cream all in the same pot. Very cute. I kind of want to open it now. It says award-winning flavors. It actually says flavors. <laughs> That's cute. You know what? Let's, let's open it. Choco goodness, berry goodness, and scoop of fun. So let's, yeah, you know what? Let's open this and see what's inside. And you are, oh, we have, hello, there you go. Oh my goodness. We have two vanilla scoops, one chocolate and one berry. Ooh, okay. Let's put them back in. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. What's <laughs> this? Also have a sunny day and you are, oh, is that whipped cream? Yeah, definitely whipped cream. Okay, it's odd. Usually they come in a blue container, but this time it seems to be in a red container. You know what? We're opening everything up, so might as well. Oh my gosh, my knife is dull now. Oh my god, there you go. Might as well open up and see exactly what we have. What color are you? No way! They're little whipped creams with cherry on top. Wait, are we making the banana split? That would be really cute. And then here, kind of looks like a banana shape. It does say keep cool, so let's see what you are. No, that is not a banana shape. We have chocolate syrup, okie dokie. I love these containers so much. And this says Happy Sun Farms. What do you be? Ooh, that's a banana. No, that's a banana, look at it. Oh my gosh, I wanna open it. Hang on, we're gonna open it later, but oh my God. It comes in a tiny banana packaging and look at the details on the banana. We're gonna open it in just a few seconds. Let's keep seeing what we get. And yes, we are making a banana split. Get out of here. This is the tiniest little bowl ever. I would have loved to see a little bit of shading on the banana bowl just to kind of make it look like a ripe banana, maybe even a little bit of shading on the tip over here, but that's cute. That's really cute. Perfect in time for summer. And this should be a spoon, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so we have a scoop and, oh, is that another scoop? That is an ice cream scoop. No, get out of here. We have a tiny ice cream scoop. And I thought we would get a spoon, but no spoon for us, none. Nay. And let's find the ingredients list. All of this. And we still haven't gotten, hang on, there's a lot of noise out there. That's very noisy. We still haven't gotten any of the mystery packaging. So we're gonna have to keep unboxing this. Remember, I do have eight of them, so keep an eye out for future videos. But here is our banana split. Let's go ahead and take this recipe out. Voila. And here, the instructions, 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 Instructions! <laughs> the instructions show that we're gonna put the banana, it looks like it's split in half. <gasps> Our banana breaks in half, oh my god. That is so exciting, oh my god. And then we're going to put, what? The, uh, what? This is a little confusing. That is a little confusing. I feel like they just kind of put the, yeah, that is confusing. I'm gonna have to make my own ingredients because we're supposed to put them one on top of the other, but it's just saying, just put it. You will figure it out. But I guess we'll figure it out once we put it on there. But this is basically what it's supposed to look like. The ice cream is supposed to sit on the banana, but nothing holds the banana down. So I feel like we need to put, wait, why do we have two vanillas? If it only takes one of each. What? Yeah, I don't, un I don't understand, <laughs> but okay. Let's, 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 let's do this one step at a time. We have our banana, let's open you up. That's cute. I love this packaging. Yes. 
So it does open into halves and you can see the texture on the banana is absolutely phenomenal and you can even feel it. I don't think you can hear it, but you can definitely feel it. And they are pretty flexible. Look at that. Very nice. So my guess is that we want the banana to show, but the thing is if we do it this way, the banana will kind of disappear. Let's try this. Let's put a scoop on top, like I saw. Kind of shows, but it kind of doesn't. I'm a little worried about that, but let's try. We're gonna have a berry over here, vanilla in the middle, and the chocolate. Now I'm a little sad that the banana is still not showing as much. I wanna do something. Part of me wants to make it so that the banana is up here. And I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do that. Let me try something. If my banana is up here, like I saw, will my ice cream fall down? And the answer is no. Okay, grains, we're gonna do something different here because I want this to be as aesthetically beautiful as possible. So we're getting my toothpicks. And we're going to freeze the banana in place. So here's what we're going to do. I do have the chocolate drizzle right here, which I've kept open. And we're gonna take some of that chocolate resin right here and put it straight onto bottom part of the banana, like so. And now I'm gonna put the banana on the edge, like so. Oh my gosh, come on, like this. And now I'm gonna take my UV light and shine it right on top so that it mimics sunlight, but at the same time hardens way faster. There. And ta-da, it's looking good so far. So I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side for the other slice of banana. I feel like a mad scientist right now because what we're gonna do, since we have quite a bit of a gap and I feel like the ice cream will actually fall through and I'm a little worried, let's check. I feel like, yeah, we definitely don't have anything for this to stand on. So I ripped a piece of this paper that came in the packaging and we're going to go ahead and crumble it a little bit to have a little bit of a base. So it's kind of like a strawberry base at the bottom like a so and we're gonna add another piece here and voila so now we're gonna have to tetris this in a way where the ice cream actually stays on top so far so good i think strawberry is gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt okay looking good don't top everything's very fragile right now and we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of that drizzle on top of everything now we don't have a nozzle but we should be able to pour everything we're gonna put the we're gonna put the whipped cream a little later but right now we just need to get that drizzle on there please do not fall please 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 be a nice drizzle and fall naturally do not make the ice cream fall we only get one chance at this come on Come on. Ooh, that is a lot. Voila. Ooh, that is that is going everywhere. That is going everywhere. You know what? I kind of want this to drip. Come on, drip. Drip, dang it. <laughs> this is not working. You know what? We're just going to have to go a little bit more aggressive. They really should have given us a nozzle. Come on, yes. Who thought putting this would have been so hard? Ooh, money. That's too much. It's, it's fine. We're okay. I think this is what it's supposed to look like. Actually, you know what? That really does look good. That actually really looks good. Okay, let's make some more fall on the sides, like a so, and like a so. Voila, beautiful. Let's let it fall. Yes. Oh my, that's too much. That's too much. Saving time. Oh my God. Oh my God, okay. I got you now, stop. There. A few moments later. Excuse me for the panic, but we're good now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the little clips. I'm gonna take the little cherries and dip it into this cream and stick them right on top, like so. And I'm gonna harden each one at a time. That way we don't get nothing slipping nowhere. There, here you go. And you harden, voila. And as you see, I'm just basically doing the exact same thing for the other two. And as you can see with whatever leftover chocolate cream we had, I went ahead and put it in the little crevices to make sure that nothing shows too much and that we stuffed it with paper. But here is the end result, and I think it's absolutely adorable. I'm really happy that I plopped up the bananas, otherwise it would have been really hard to see them. And the instructions for this one are definitely way off on the original instructions. Let me know which one of today's three projects is your favorite. If you want to watch the previous episode, make sure you check up here. And if you want to catch something a little different, like mystery boxes, check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video. This is the part of the video that nobody shows you. It's like, look at that magic of editing. But I'm sitting here stuffing tiny cherries inside tiny pineapples. But you know what? There's, there's kind of an ASMR feeling to this.